Hello and welcome to a new episode of Man Cave Printing. As you can see, the CNC router is repaired now. We changed all the defect parts, whether I damaged them or they were damaged when I bought the router. But as I told you, um, I crashed it into this side here, so I decided we need an upgrade and I thought about why not install some end stops? So we need end stops for the X max and X min direction or Y. I don't know how the system is laying here. And also for this direction and for the Z direction. So we will have to do six end stops for the min and max positions. I found this design on Fingerverse, which looked pretty nice, but I think it won't work with my uh, with my router because it is somehow a little bit different. Or well, I have to look it up again because when we go to this end, you see we touch this pulley before we even get close to any position the end stop can touch here. But no matter what, we will find a solution. And for the other directions, I already designed some custom part. So this sits right here. We can bolt it on right here. And then the router drives against this end stop and activates it. So we got one for the max position here. And on the opposite side, we got one for the min direction. Now we have to put on some cables on two of the three mounts here. So on the this one and this one. And after that we can install it here and run it through to the RAMS 1.4 board. But first I think I will take a closer look at the electronics installed here. And for that we have to loosen these bolts there should be six of them and then we can take off this plate and take a closer look. So I've took off the bottom plate. Now we can see the electronics right in here. We got our power supply. We got two fans for cooling. We got our X and Y steering unit. Here is the driver for the Z axis and these pins right here hope you can see it all for our end stops. So we have to do some cables that will come like the others here I think or we go through this cable kennel right here and then take the part or take the path they already took before and so we will get where we want. The next step I will solder some uh, pins to the end stops and then we will take a closer look on how we get our pins installed here and also uh, how we're gonna solve our mounting problem on our carriage. After the soldering of the cables was the most interesting part of the install, I decided to just put this in the video and now I want to show you what I did else. So first we come to our mainboard and here you can see these are the cables for the end stops. I lab labeled them with X, Y and Z and then also min and max and we put it here on the end stops like it is shown in the pinout so no big deal after that we go out of the electronics box so one cable goes in front to 
this end stop, another one to the back side and all the other ones go to the main part of the CNC rotor. So as I already showed, I got the solders from Thingiverse. I wasn't sure if I want to use them, but in the end I just put my end stops in it and make it work. So as you can see here, we are going right onto this aluminium block with the Z-Max. For the Y-Max we had to make another part so we can go to the Max and not crash into our new part here. And for the min values I put it down here. I also had to make another part here so we have a printed part with a thread inside and also um, a screw so we can lift it up or put it down so like we want it and then it goes on this switch and as you've seen for the max value we also did the same for the min value so this gets touched right before we crash into something else so I gave my best to put the cables in the cable canals that are already on the CNC router. You see it goes down right here and goes then for and into the electronics box. And I also did a little upgrade. I drilled another hole here to put my USB cable directly here because I did not have the other port used in here. The last thing I have to do is to update the firmware with the end stops. So this is also no big deal. The changes I made were mostly boot screen. So I got my man cave printing logo on the CNC and also I activated the end stops. Now I want to show you the homing process of X and Y. So let's home. This is the X axis and also the Y axis. This is it for now. The end stops are working all fine. Also when we move too far from our display and it crashes into an end stop it stops instantly so it's exactly what I wanted it to do. And now I just have to put back on the build plate. 